From on the screen to behind the scenes, this couple seemed destined for each other from the start. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 times Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis made us believe in love. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at those moments since their initial meet-cute that makes them hashtag relationship goals. Number 10. When they got married in secret Their relationship has always been shrouded in mystery, but that didn't stop them from having some fun with their fans along the way. From a cryptic New York greeting celebrating 2015, to a mystery ban on Mila's ring finger when she visited the Late Late Show, they've made sure to keep us all guessing. I once maybe got married. You've either got married or you haven't got married. Have you got married? The couple actually got hitched July 4th weekend 2015, and according to the groom, it was a ninja operation to make sure that their wedding remained a private, top-secret event. It was a ninja effort. Uh -huh. um, we, did, uh, we really didn't want helicopters at our wedding, and, and, it's, and it's a legitimate concern. Number 9. When they presented an award together When I was pregnant, I had this app that told me every day how big my daughter was. The size of a guava, size of an avocado, and eventually, she got too enormous to be compared to a fruit. It's amazing how relatable this couple comes across even at an event known as the Oscars of Science. They couldn't have looked happier as they stepped out on stage together to entertain the audience at the annual Breakthrough Prize Ceremony with an anecdote about how technology helped them get to know their fetus better using a nifty app. I can confirm that Mila was totally obsessed with the fruit app. Their story reminds us just how much work goes into things that we usually take for granted. Even their presentation of the actual award was brimming with personality. For revealing the mechanism that controls the separation of chromosomes in cell division and prevents genetic diseases such as cancer, no big deal, guys. Number 8. When they reunited on Two and a Half Men Vivian. That's a beautiful name. Thank you. My parents got it from that 70s show. <laughs> what was it called? <gasps> Maud! When Mila Kunis guest starred on the show, the writers had some fun with all the rumors surrounding the couple's relationship. I'd never date an actress. <laughs> You're all crazy. I'm sure they're not all crazy. Trust me, they are. Kunis plays Vivian, a free-spirited traveler who shows up at Walden's house. And it's hilarious, as she and Walden have a very tongue-in-cheek conversation about celebrity culture and who's dating who in such a nonchalant way. I don't get this whole fascination with celebrities anyway. I mean, who cares who's dating whom or who's engaged to who or who has a sex tape that no one will ever, ever see? <laughs> the show even managed to get her into a wedding dress. At this point, the couple hadn't gone public yet, but we'd only need to look at their chemistry to know the truth. Are you gonna be okay? I do. Think I'm gonna be okay. Number 7. When they played a couple in the movie within a movie in Annie. Putting the teaser in teaser trailer, Moonquake Lake looked all set to be the big blockbuster of 2015. The only catch was it was all fake. Things happen for a reason. Says the boy who doesn't have to go home to the moon every night. Then don't go. You know, it's not my choice. Kutcher and Kunis supposedly starred in this Twilight-esque Hollywood blockbuster alongside Rihanna, in the role of a blue evil lizard-like creature. You succeed, and your mother will be set free. If not... <laughs> Sadly, we'll never know if these lovebirds found their happy ending, but we can only imagine the amount of fun the couple had acting together and poking fun at the melodrama of the teen sci-fi romance genre. Number 6. When they appeared on The Bachelorette the two Bachelorette superfans could not have been more excited to spend their date night making a guest appearance on the show. Monday nights for us are a white wine, white wine, vodka tonic. Yep. Turn on bachelor the bachelor, or bachelorette. bachelorette. Ever since there was some guy named Jared who apparently looked like me, we've been watching the show, including Paradise. With Ashton leading the way in his trophy husband T-shirt, the couple were tasked with creating an obstacle course for the men to prove they were husband material. But it all goes hysterically wrong much to their delight. It's not plugged in! Hey, he's strapped in! You gotta try, you gotta plug in your vacuum! Oh. Ashton isn't optimistic that any of the bachelors are husband material, and Mila is about to disagree when Ashton says something that leaves her almost speechless. You're rushing things, I, babe. No, no. You gotta take things slow. You know they what? only have six weeks. I knew on day one. I mean... 
Someone's definitely getting laid tonight. Number five, when Ashton recorded Mila a cute red carpet message. When both parents have a busy schedule, finding that work-family balance can be tricky, but it seems Ashton and Mila are a well-oiled machine. When Mila went to celebrate the premiere of her latest movie, Jupiter Ascending, Ashton stayed behind to put their daughter to bed. He just put her down to sleep. He is here. Or on his way, I should say. But yes, his daddy duty was to put the baby to bed. However, while talking to Entertainment Tonight, it was revealed that he'd recorded a short and ever so sweet message that showed just how proud of and in love with Mila he was, and her response was equally as adorable. I think I'll just keep it simple and just say break a leg, and I know it's going to be amazing, and you have nothing to be nervous about, and you look stunning. I mean, how do you not love him, right? Number four when Ashton surprised Mila on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. We'll take one celebrity power couple and raise you one more. When Mila and Kristen were on the show promoting Bad Moms, Ellen helped their husbands deliver a unique Mother's Day message. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! We, we put babies in you! Yeah! We we them you. you gave them to us and we thank you. And now they're in the world! Before they've even finished laughing, Ashton and Dax surprise their wives as they arrive in person, each holding a bouquet of flowers. One Surprise. However, all four get more than they bargained for when Ellen challenges them to a couple's version of Never Have I Ever, and let's just say, we learn some interesting stuff about both couples. Never have we ever hooked up on set. Oh, <laughs> Number three when their honeymoon didn't go quite to plan. If you've ever seen the National Lampoon movies, yeah. our honeymoon was like a real-life National Lampoon's honeymoon. I'm not exaggerating, I'm not saying it for a laugh. When you think about your dream honeymoon, you probably don't picture an RV trip with your in-laws and baby daughter in tow. But that's exactly how these newlyweds spent theirs. The trip was far from relaxing, with one thing after another going very, very wrong, and even resulting in a near-death experience. We almost died on the side of the road when Apple Maps took Apple Maps took us on a road. It wasn't a road. It was um, a fire road on the side of a mountain. We all had to jump out of the vehicle and walk for like three miles. The final straw was when Ashton's mom, acting as a location scout, somehow chose a spot right by some prisons, which unsurprisingly killed the honeymoon vibe, and the couple had to admit defeat. With two prisons, okay? <laughs> Yes, guys, that is where our RV trip ended. And my husband looked at me and goes, um, I quit. And I was um, like, me too. Me too. <laughs> Number two, when Ashton was Mila's first kiss. I, I think it was her first kiss. Yeah. Uh, like on, on TV. On the show. Like right. we have our first kiss like memorialized on a TV show. It was hardly love at first sight, but almost like it was written in the stars. Mila was 14 when that 70s show started. And who played her boyfriend and first kiss both on and off screen? That's right, her future husband, Ashton Kutcher. If you worked here, you can see me whenever I wanted you to. I love her. Oh, yeah. Please stop touching each other. Kutcher was 19 and recalls the awkwardness of it all, where Mila was both super nervous and excited to kiss her secret crush. But it, was it weird kissing a 14-year-old yeah, at that point? Yeah, it was really weird. I was like, wait, God, isn't this illegal? Like, can I, I... <laughs> it may not have been happily ever after for Jackie and Kelso, but the moment it all began will be forever documented on screen. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Maybe they won't notice. I am in love with a doofus. <laughs> Number one, when they admitted they started as friends with benefits. Boy meets girl. Boy and girl decide to be friends with benefits. Both get feelings for each other, and as they say, the rest is history. And then he turned around and I went, oh, 
And then that, that moment that you hear or see in movies where like your heart skips a beat yeah. and it happened with Ashton and I was like, oh, stop it. Like I was like, no. Not only was this the plot to both 2011 movies No Strings Attached and Friends with Benefits, starring Ashton and Mila respectively, it's also how their own relationship kicked off. We both did a movie. I did a movie called Friends with Benefits and he did a movie called No Strings Attached. Yes. And if we would have just paid attention to the, how those movies turned out, we would know that we can't go into a relationship this way. When Mila realized that she had feelings for her buddy, she called the whole thing off only for him to turn up at her door and ask her to move in with him. We literally shook hands. We're like, we're going to have fun because we're both single and young. Three months later, we're living together. Six months later, we're like married and have a kid. Like literally, <laughs> we clearly didn't watch the end of either one of our movies. Does it get more Hollywood rom-com than that? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.